guys, it's Devin, and today I'm going to be filming the On My Shelf tag. Hey guys, sorry, this is kind of a heads up from the future Devin who just finished her video and realized that she forgot a bunch of stuff that she had to say. So basically, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that I wasn't actually tagged to do this, but it just looked like so much fun. And I don't really have anyone to tag, but if you want to do it, then I tag you. So you can even quote me and say that the shelfie tagged you to do this tag. Now this tag was going around a little while ago, but I've seen a lot of videos and it looks like a lot of fun. So I'm going to do it today. We'll see how it goes. So the whole point behind this tag is that every book has a different story. And I know what you're thinking, obviously it does. Like, it's a book with words and it tells a story but I mean every book has a connection with you in where you got it or how you heard of it or just a memory that is connected with it. It was originally created by Ian Broom and I will link his video in the description below if you want to check that out. I'm going to be choosing one book from each of my four bookshelves and one book from the shelf on my dresser and I thought to mix it up a little bit, I do have a shelf of movies, and I'm going to be choosing two from there. So, let's get started. I'm choosing random coordinates right now in my head, and the first number is going to be the bookshelf number, and the second number will be the number of the book on that shelf. And the first one I'm going to choose is 1 and 7. Here is shelf 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is a really good one. It is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. And I definitely have a memory with this one. I have a few actually. Um, I picked this up when I was on a road trip uh, a couple years ago and I just went into a bookstore because I wanted to go to a bookstore on a road trip and I picked up this as well as The Host. And I'm pretty sure I started The Host first because I really really wanted to read The Host and this one I just kind of picked up because it sounded pretty good and I'd seen the movie trailer. So I picked it up and I was super excited because it was brand new and it was beautiful, but I didn't actually read it for more than a year. And when I started it, it was a little slow, but then I really got into it. I was determined to finish it after my exams last semester. There was a day that I knew that I had time to just sit down and read all day, and that's pretty much what I did. I ended up finishing it at like 11.30, so it was still finished in that day, and I'm pretty excited about it. But City of Bones definitely holds great memories for me, whether it being that road trip or just sitting down reading all day. Those are my favorite days, just when I sit down and read. I just realized you guys can't actually see my hair. It's like an awkward side bun because it was in a ponytail today, but I didn't really feel like having it in a ponytail anymore because I was sitting outside and it's kind of warm. So why don't I crouch? The next coordinates are shelf number two and book number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a really good one. It is The Book of Awesome by Neil Patricia, and I really love this book. If you don't know what it is, it's basically just a book filled with different little things that make life awesome. The little things, like the sound of rain from inside the tent, or paying for something with exact change. And it's just little stories and reasons why these things are awesome and there's like one every couple pages or maybe like one each page and it just it's so positive and it makes you feel so happy i'm not actually sure when i got this but i do remember sitting and reading and there was one in here i wish i could find it it was something about a fry sharing law where if your friend gets fries and you don't then you could ask him for a fry and they're pretty much entitled to give you one but there's the whole like choosing it you don't want like to get the perfect golden salty one that they wanted but you don't also want to get the tiny crumbly one so it's just i remember reading that and being like yes remember that family next time you guys get fries or food in general but i don't actually remember getting this book or reading it, I just remember associating it with happiness and really, really loving this book. So this is my third shelf right here, and I'm going to be choosing book number 
15 on that shelf. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the book that I chose was This Lullaby by Sarah Dessen. And I really, really love Sarah Dessen and all of her books. I think I read this between Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and City of Bones. I'm not sure. Somewhere around there. I remember it taking me a little while to get through because it it does, like, it's over 300 pages, but it I don't think I had a lot of time to read, and I remember just coming home for a few nights, and it was the greatest feeling, and I could just sit and read for a few hours each night, and I just pushed through it and got it done. But yeah, I just really remember loving this book and being so excited to come home and read it. I got this as a box set with my two other Sarah Dessen books, which were Just Listen and The Truth About Forever, and this was the second book by Sarah Dessen I'd ever read. Um, I did read Just Listen before I read this one, but that was like a year or so before. But I really didn't like this one. It sounded interesting, so I picked it up, and I did not regret it. Now you guys can't see it, but I do have a fourth shelf. Sorry if the angle looks a little bit different. My camera just cut off for a minute, so I had to redo that a little bit. I have to redo this part that I just did. Um, yeah, but I did have the other part saved, so I didn't have to do it again, which was lovely. So basically, I was saying, if you guys want an overview of my bookshelf, let me know in the comments, and I'll try and do a bookshelf tour in the near future. I do have some other videos scheduled, though, so if you want it, maybe I'll do it sooner. I'm hoping to do a bookshelf tour pretty soon. So anyways, you guys can't see my fourth shelf, but the coordinate I am choosing is 4 and 6. So the book at coordinate 4 6 is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I have not read this book, but I do have a good memory with it already. I'm actually hoping to read this next after I'm done Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, which I'm currently reading. I was so wanting to read this book because it's all over booktube and I've heard how great it is and how awesome it is and just how beautiful and it's a cute little contemporary and I've been wanting to read it for a while and then I went to a used bookstore and they had Anna and the French Kiss and I squealed with excitement. It was a beautiful time, especially to get it like a hardcover in this good of condition. Like I don't see anything wrong with this and to get it for so cheap was really an accomplishment. So the last bookshelf coordinate I have is bookshelf number five, and that's over on my dresser. I don't have as many books, so I'm going to do shelf number five, book number eight, if I have that many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the eighth book on my fifth shelf is Night Star by Alison Noel, and this book is the fifth fifth? No. Yeah, apparently it's the fifth. It's the fifth book in the Evermore series, and I talked about Evermore in my last video, if you want to go check that out to find out what the entire series is about. So, Night Star, I don't really have any great memories specifically about this book, but it's more about the series as a whole. I remember getting Evermore on my birthday, and I just remember flying through it, and I really loved it, and then I had to wait to get the rest because I didn't want to buy it. My birthday is close to the end of the year, so whenever I want something near the end of the year, I'm like, but what if somebody gets it for me for Christmas and I won't have to buy it myself? So yeah, I just waited until Christmas and lo and behold, underneath the Christmas tree was the entire series for me. I believe I read Blue Moon, the second one, on Christmas break that year actually. I just remember bringing the rest of these books to school and reading them at the end of science class, just the last couple pages. I do actually remember finishing this book. It was, I was sitting at a lunch table and I finished it. It was just a happy moment for me because I feel so accomplished whenever I finish a book in general, but to finish the fifth one in a six book series was pretty exciting because it meant I could start the last book. So that is the last book I'm going to talk about, and we'll move on to movies. The movie shelf is a bit hard to explain. It's probably about the size of this shelf, which is a pretty darn big shelf, so I was able to fit a row of movies on the bottom and a row on the top, and they are alphabetized because I like them to be organized because my movies mean a lot to me too. So I'm going to do two movies. 
one from each row. So I'm going to do two movies, one from each row. And the first one is going to be on row one, number 22. What would that be? 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. The movie that I picked is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. That's backwards. So the movie that I picked is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I guess I'll do the starring. Starring Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grint, and Emma Watson. And this is a really good pick because I love Harry Potter. I have seen all the movies. I'm almost through the books. I did watch the movies before reading the books, but that was because I was never really introduced to the books when I was a young kid. I remember this was the first ever Harry Potter movie I had ever seen. I watched it in class. I was like, you know what? I don't know about this. So I didn't watch the rest. And then when I got a little bit older, my mom and dad reintroduced me to the series, starting with the first movie and I fell in love and I currently am so in love with these books and movies. Those are my really good memories with this movie in particular but the entire series is just a great memory watching them for the first time shrieking at the surprising parts and just being so intrigued and wanting to find out what happens next. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is a movie on the second row which will be row number two Movie number 34. Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. I actually do have a lot of memories with this movie, and it is Toy Story starring Tom Hanks and Tim Allen. I remember just watching this over and over and over when I was a kid. This one and the second one because the third one came out when I was a little more grown up. But I just loved this movie. This was probably one of my favorite movies when I was a kid because when I had nothing to watch, I basically just either put this or Lilo and Stitch on. Just remember being really happy watching this as a kid and just loving every second of it and loving Buzz Lightyear and Woody the Cowboy and all of them so I do have a lot of happy memories connected with this movie so that is it for the on my shelf tag I hope you guys like this video so let me know what you thought of this video in the comments you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram on both of those I am at the shelfie make sure you hit that subscribe button because I would love 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 for you to subscribe because I try to make videos at least once a week so make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and yeah so I will see you guys next time. That is all from my shelfie. Goodbye.